Describe your perfect date. That's a tough one. <laughs> I'd have to say April 25th, because it's not too hot, not too cold. All you need is a light jacket. She's Miss United States. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm so happy to be doing a Get Ready With Me collab with one of my good friends here on YouTube, Christina Chang. I don't even know how, it's definitely been over a year we've been friends here on YouTube and we chat all the time over on Instagram. I just, I love her channel. I love everything that she comes up with. We both love Harry Potter. We both found out we love Miss Congeniality, and also recently I found out we both love Phantom of the Opera, so we've got a lot in common. And I just love her as a person. She's beautiful inside and out. So if you haven't already seen her channel, subscribe to her channel, I'll have that linked down below. Please go ahead and check out her channel and her video for this collab. So this collab, we're calling it the Miss Congeniality Day Get Ready With Me, like the perfect date night look, because uh, we both love Miss Congeniality, which is a movie from like the early 2000s starring Sandra Bullock. And there's a scene, I don't know if I can put it in here because of copyright, but I'll definitely have it linked down below. But it's about an FBI agent who goes undercover at the Miss America or Miss United States pageant because copyright reasons. And there's a scene where <laughs> they ask one of the contestants, what is your perfect date? Of course, asking like, what would your perfect like date night activity kind of be? But she answers, April 25th. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. All you need is a light jacket, which honestly, this movie is one of the funniest movies ever. And I love this movie growing up. I probably watched it when I was a little too young, but I love this movie. And that's why April 25th is known as Miss Congeniality Day. So we thought, how fun would it be to do a date night get ready with me for Miss Congeniality Day? So we're going to be doing our ideal date night looks. Of course, we're, we're all, most of us here, at least, are still under quarantine because of what's going on. So we're not actually going out or doing anything, but uh, date night to stay home and watch Miss Congeniality. So I've already primed my skin. I used, this is actually now an empty. I scraped out everything I could. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer. So that is now an empty. I used that and I just let it sit and sink into my skin for a little bit. I find with that primer, it's best if you put it on and like let it kind of absorb into your skin for a little bit. It's a really good primer, but I realized that sometimes if you put it on and then immediately went on with foundation, it sometimes wouldn't sit as well. So I let that sit for a little bit and for my foundation, I wanna go in with a mixture I've been using a lot recently. And that is these two foundations right here. If you've been watching my videos recently, you'll know that while we're in quarantine, I've been leaning towards using products that don't work as well for me. So if this was an actual like date night if I was going out, I probably wouldn't use these two. But these are both foundations that they work okay, but they're not fantastic if I'm going out and like doing things, which is why I'm kind of using them now that I'm in quarantine. So if this was a real date night, I wouldn't be using these, but as of right now, I'm mixing them and for my current needs just what wearing it around the house it works fine so I mix just equal parts half of the Milani screen queen I have the shade 120 and then half of the wet and wild photo focus dewy foundation I have the shade what shade are you soft ivory this is they're both almost empty it's actually kind of hard to scrape out what's left of the screen queen because it's so thick and it's hard to like get into the bottle and scrape it out so this is almost empty and i've got a little bit left in the wet and wild you can see i've already started scraping at the front so hopefully i can use up both of these <laughs> by the end of this and i just have them mixed on a palette right here so i'm just going to start to paint that on and then let's talk a little bit about the movie miss congeniality and how much i love it and identify with it. So the movie has a very, I think honestly, it's funny and it's very early 2000s, but it's got such a great message. And it's all about like empowerment and owning you and what you love and what you do. And I just, I love it. So the main character, her name is Gracie Hart and she grew up in New Jersey where I currently am. And she was always a tomboy. You see at the very beginning there's a scene with her um like defending a boy from some bullies on the playground 
and she defends him, beats up the bully essentially, and goes to talk to the boy and then the boy is upset because he didn't want a girl to have to fight for him. So she also punches him out <laughs> and that's kind of setting up how her character is and how she's kind of had to live her life, like fending for herself. I can't go around my mouth while still talking. Basically fending for herself and having to like work hard for everything that she's ever had. So it fast forwards to her on an undercover FBI like sting. Um, they don't really specify it too much, but there's an undercover sting. And during the course of the sting, she makes a decision that ultimately gets one of her colleagues shot, unfortunately. And because of that, she's not like demoted, but she's definitely lower down in the department. After that, um, it's found out that a serial, I guess, bomber, someone who's been leaving um, like explosive de devices at different events around the country, they find out that this person is targeting the Miss United States pageant. So they decide that in order to fully go and try to figure out who the bomber is and prevent this from happening, they have to go undercover. And they go through and they find... They eventually like look through the whole department the whole agency and try to figure out who would be best to go undercover and they decide <laughs> because of the plot the tomboy Gracie has to go undercover and there's a whole makeover scene I just there's something about makeover scenes that I just love <laughs> to this day like give me the princess diaries makeover scene give me the miss congeniality makeover I just love a good like montage makeover scene I don't know what it is it's just so fun so they give her a makeover, she has to go undercover, she's never done any girly things before, she doesn't even know what makeup is, and it's just fun and heartwarming, and it's it's cute, honestly. I love the movie, <laughs> if you couldn't already tell. I don't want to, oh, I guess it's an old movie, I don't want to spoil anything. Uh, you guys can watch it, I bought my copy on YouTube, I know it's available for sale and rent on YouTube. I don't know where it's available for free, I don't know if it's on Netflix or Amazon. I ended up just buying it on YouTube because I realized I didn't own it and I love it so I should own it somewhere. But it, it's a great movie and it's full of just kind of hilarious gems like that. Okay, so I've got my foundation on. I'm gonna next go in. I got too much foundation on my palette. I'm never good at eyeballing how much I need to mix. For concealer, I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer in the shade. What shade are you? What shade are you? I don't know. Fair 15. There we go. We got the shade. And then for the powder, I'm going to use to set my under eyes and a little bit of the rest of my face. I'm going to be using the AOA Studio Perfect Pressed Powder in the shade Soft Light. Now that we've got powder everywhere, to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use a combination of these two face powders. I've got the Sexy Mama Translucent Powder from The Balm and this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffused Light. And I like to let the bake, where I put it, sit until I'm totally done setting the rest of my face. Now I don't have to like set my face, but I'm just so used to it and that's kind of how I like to do my makeup. If it's really dry and really cold out, I might like leave my forehead not set but I just had the best experience when I set my whole face. Now that the rest of my face is set, this is when I go in and just kind of brush off the excess powder from the bake, just gently. And there, so base is done. Moving on to bronzing and contouring, I'm going to be using this palette from Makeup Revolution. It's the Pro HD Powder Contour. I like using this shade right here to bronze, and then I use either this shade or this shade, depending on what day it is and what I'm feeling like, to contour. After that, I'll be going in with a blush for like a date night look. I don't like to go like really heavy on the blush. I like to focus more on like the contour. Just how I prefer it. Um, and so I just pick a very flattering blush, which for me would be like a more peach toned blush. So I picked this one. This is from Shop Miss A, the AOA studio brand. And this is the perfect blush in the shade Dandy, which is like a nice, just slightly peach toned blush. All right, so as I do the next few steps, I'm gonna talk a bit more about why I liked this movie so much. Just as I grew up, I really did lean more towards the, I don't know, you can call them like girl power kind of films, I don't know. But this movie in particular, I don't know why I loved so much, and if you haven't been following my channel for a bit and kind of know a bit of my background, I actually 
So I went to college for criminal justice down in Washington, D.C., and I was actually very close to joining the FBI. It was kind of my dream job for the longest time. I was talking to recruiters down there. I was um, kind of on track to finish my bachelor's and then get a joint master's. So when I first applied to my school, I applied for a program that they had where it was a combined bachelor's and master's for like criminal justice and then criminology. And then that was kind of a fast track into the FBI just because it was down in DC and you can make the connections you needed. But the year I got accepted, they got rid of that program. So there's that. And then after that, there were some issues with my financial aid and I ended up having to leave school. And I still have not finished. I'm like six um, credits away from my full degree. And then after that, I came, moved back up here to Jersey and I've been just working since and paying student loans. I feel like a big part of like me and my ambitions was just reflected in the movie and also the whole theme of uh, embrace like having to face kind of your inner misogyny a little bit. Like I, I was definitely one of those girls as a teenager who was very tomboyish. I didn't get into makeup until I was like in my 20s. I was very tomboyish. I was basically just like young Gracie in the movie and this movie just really spoke to me. A big point of the movie was her embracing her more feminine side and um, like realizing that she looked down on other women just because they happened to like more girly kind of things when that's obviously not okay. <laughs> and it's also about not taking people at face value because again I don't want to spoil anything even though it's an old movie but the the villains of the movie aren't who you think they are <laughs> and they're not set up that way so it's all about really just getting to know people respecting people and honestly like i said i think it's a really good overall <laughs> message to send to people that being said unfortunately the sequel to this movie was kind of a garbage fire <laughs> yeah i forgot how long after the movie the sequel came out but the sequel wasn't wasn't good Ooh, and i almost forgot to pick a highlight out so this is a newer highlight in my collection. I just got it in my last try beauty box and this is the Annette 69 Beauty Creations highlight. I'll just try it out today. For a date night kind of look, uh, since it is a nighttime, normally when my boyfriend and I, well, back when we used to do date night, we would go out to like a restaurant or go out to a movie. So I would do a bit heavier highlight and an eye look. I definitely think like a nice bold lip and a nice smoky eye. I'm definitely gonna be doing a smoky eye. So that's kind of what I go for. And so while I keep my blush tone down, I definitely go for a brighter highlight. So I'm hoping this is nice and bright. Might be a little dark for my skin tone. Oh, but it looks nice. I like to make sure everything is just well blended. I use this duo fiber brush like constantly just to make sure everything's nice and blended. Okay, so now that we have most of our base down, I'm gonna jump off camera, do my eyebrows real quick, and prime my eyes, and then we'll be back to do the smoky eye look. Okay, so we are back. I did my brows, I uh, did my eye primer, and for my date night look, I like to go for a nice classic smoky eye. So I pulled my ABH Soft Glam palette, and I'm just gonna use a few of the mattes, I'm thinking maybe more of this like orangey tone, like orange soda shade. I'm definitely going to be bringing in these darker shades to make it very, very smoky. And I don't know which shade I'm going to use all over the lid yet. Well, we'll see when we get there. <laughs> Starting out with orange soda. All right, so this brush is stained, but it doesn't actually have any like purple or pink on it. And I think I'm going to take the shade Sienna. I'm going to keep this, I think, a bit warm. And I'm going to use that just to build up into my crease. Oh my God, I love how precise this brush is. It's actually small enough for my crease. I got this in one of my Try Beauty boxes. So if you missed my last Try Beauty box video, I'll just throw that up in the cards. But I can just get like actually in my tiny, tiny little crease with this brush. <sighs> then I'm just gonna blend that out just a little bit. Ooh. Yes, just like that. Okay, so now I really want to go in. I like to do like a nice wing shape, which has just been my favorite recently, but especially for a smoky eye, I think it looks so pretty. So I don't think I'm going to go straight in with the black. Might be a bit too much with these warm colors, but I'm going to go in with Cypress Umber, this dark brown, and build it up with the help of a card. All right, and that brown is looking a little... I don't know if it's just this lighting, but it's looking a little too maybe cool toned. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the black shade. 
just put this up for extra and just do a little bit of the black over it just like that okay and then we're just gonna blend I'm gonna take the small crease brush I used before and just go back in a little bit with the two previous shades I used because we lost it a little bit right above here and just blend out the edges so that we still keep that nice like warm shade right up top okay so I think this not this one I think the shade rose pink would look the nicest on the lid so I'm gonna use my NYX glitter glue and put that all over my lid and then we'll be right back okay so for the lower lash line I'm gonna stick with just the black and the lightest orange color we used Alrighty, for highlight, I'm just going to use, let's use this shade Fairy for my inner corner highlight and for my brow bone. Okay, so now that the eyes are done, I'm actually gonna have to like rethink my lip color, I think, because it came out a little bit more pinky warm than I thought it would. And I was originally going to use this red lip, which I think that's a bit too much. So I think I'm gonna go with the neutral maybe a glossy lip i think a gl just a nice neutral lip would go well with this let me pick out a different lip there we go a nice just like super glossy lip this is technically a lip plumper but any kind of glossy i think nude lip would work with a, a look this bright <laughs> so that is my date night look normally if this if it was a real date night i probably wouldn't be wearing a lipstick i do think other than chapstick because uh What's the PG way of saying this? If I don't want to be kissing my boyfriend, I don't wear anything on my lips. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So yeah, so I had a lot of fun doing this. I had so much fun. Thank you, Christina, for agreeing to collab with me on this Miss Congeniality Day date night look. If you guys haven't already seen the movie, I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorites and Christina's too. So let me know down below if you've already seen it, what your favorite scene is or your favorite line or joke is. And if you haven't, please let me know if you actually want to watch it now. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.